One, stay up to date on your vaccinations. Two, wear a mask in crowded indoor places. Apparently, the Public Health Agency of Canada keeps a Mrs. Claus prop and Christmas outfits in house, according to the latest response to our access to information request. Mary Ugolini here with Rebel News, bringing you the absolutely absurd response we have received from the Public Health Agency of Canada after we filed an access to information request through your generous support and donations at rebelinvestigates.com just to see how much taxpayer money was spent on Teresa Tam's vaccine propaganda video featuring beloved Christmas classic Mrs. Claus. You see, a few days before Christmas, our chief public health officer, that's Teresa Tam, put out this gross child targeted video that basically steals the wonder and surprise out of Christmas and instead replaces it with public health safety bubbled planning, thinly veiled in big pharma shilling. As though Santa has to complete a health check before he can deliver the Christmas spirit. In case you missed it, here is the real life, surprisingly not a parody or deep fake video. Check it out. Well, kids, I'm just doing my yearly call to the North Pole for Santa's holiday health check. <laughs> Why, hello, Dr. Tam. Mrs. Claus, so good to see you again. Where did Santa go? Oh, Santa was late for snow yoga with the elves and reindeer. He says it's great cross-training for sleigh driving. Sounds fun. Are you all set for the holiday season? Of course. I, I must say, Dr. Tam, it just warms my heart to see everyone in Canada, especially kids, working so hard to keep the holidays safe and cheerful for all. So am I, Mrs. Claus. Every child in Canada has definitely earned a place on the nice list. Their parents and caregivers too. It's been a tough season with lots of viruses making people sick. Thankfully, Santa and I are feeling as healthy as ever. We are both up to date with our vaccinations, including COVID boosters and flu shots. That's so good to hear. I always tell Santa to make a list and check it twice. One. Stay up to date on your vaccinations. Two, wear a mask in crowded indoor places and make sure it fits nice and snug. Three, wash your hands to the tune of jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Great advice. Great voice too. Also, you can be sure to stay at home if you're feeling sick. And if you're gathering indoors with other people or elves, open a door or a window with for a few minutes at a time to let in some fresh air. The more items you check off the list, the more protected you are. Yes, you can think of it like decorating a tree. You need tinsel, lights, ornaments, and the star on top. The tree is at its best when all the decorations are up and nicely layered. Thanks, Mrs. Claus. Happy holidays, everyone. Yeah, happy holidays is right. Spend your Christmas acquiescing to public health advice of endless boosters, endless mask layers, and freezing inside with windows open so that you can feel safe while visiting your family members. Of course, I wanted to know, again, just how much this cost Canadian taxpayers for the gross display of public health debauchery, as though Mrs. Claus is the pinnacle of hypochondriac suffering that Theresa Tam wants all Canadians to succumb to. And look at the response from the Public Health Agency of Canada. We regret to inform you that we were unable to locate any records responsive to your request. The video in question was produced in-house. Therefore, there were no associated costs concerning the production, development, and distribution of this video. Imagine that. The Public Health Agency of Canada, the same one that threw out warehouses full of PPE leading up to the declaration of the pandemic, has their own Mrs. Claus costume that they keep on hand for, I guess, these yearly videos. And what about Mrs. Claus herself? Who is she? And is she an agent of public health too? So apparently, our public health agency has someone at the ready to film, video edit, and produce in-house short videos. They have a staffer ready to spring into action as Mrs. Claus and put on an outfit too. 
We know that Teresa Tam received a 22% raise of $59,000 last year for a total salary earning of $324,000. Maybe she hired them all in-house using her post-pandemic bonus. For Rebel News, I'm Tamara Ugolini. Obviously, we're going to appeal this decision, and we're also going to try to find out who Mrs. Claus really is, and if she too works at the Public Health Agency of Canada. And thank you to you, all of you at home for your generous contributions at rebelinvestigates.com so that we can continue to appeal these kinds of decisions and conduct proper investigative journalism. You can find out more at rebelinvestigates.com.